the main thing I would want students to take away, and the main thing I want students to take away from my class, is that by itself, terrorism is not all that devastating. 9-11, if we look at a lot of data, is a huge outlier. Most of the time, uh, you know, like Mueller says, a few hundred people die per year. Even if it were more, it's not that much in relative, to, relative to other significant risks out there. But if terrorism is elevated to that level, and a government tries to enact these responses that are going to defeat the terrorist groups, that may work. And I think you know, seven times out of ten, it will. But if it doesn't, then it has the potential to escalate into this very, very long cycle of strikes and counter strikes and then it, you know mobilization on the part of the group versus counter mobilization on the part of the government and if it gets significant enough it reaches a level where we're looking at a civil war or an internationalized civil war and those conflicts are incredibly incredibly destructive and incredibly difficult to resolve so i think it's important to sort of step back when we observe these things that are very very emotionally charged and think what was the point of this where is this going to lead us and do we want to go there? And almost always when we look at the Civil War literature, something that's just been very, very obvious to almost anyone that's studied it is that these are incredibly intractable conflicts and most of the time they don't resolve themselves. Most of the time any sort of peace building effort fails. So a question I would want students to ask themselves is even though terrorism by itself seems very, very devastating, very, very emotional charge and your automatic response is you want to respond, is it worth going down that road? That's something I would want, and that's something I really emphasize in my terrorism classes. Do you really want to go down that road? If we sort of know where this road is likely to lead, do we want to take that risk?